I think it's just a bad taste in your mouth. I think it's like, um, I don't feel like we're probably different than any other team. If you go out there and you don't perform the way you want and you lose, um, it's you want to get back out there. You want to play right away and you can't. But the one thing you can do is go out there and prepare and make sure you play better that next week. So um, I think it's always been that sense of urgency around here. Um, it doesn't even need to be said. I think guys understand, you know, how to approach the week and make sure we go out there and play better than we played last week. Yeah, uh, when I walked in, I seen him in the cafeteria, just started smiling. Um, his locker was right by mine when he got here as a rookie. So uh, just continuing to talk to him and trying to encourage him and uh, have leadership to me more than just as a football player in the corner, but like as a guy who's been in the league now my ninth year, um, even when uh, he left and went to Baltimore, texting him, seeing how he was doing. So uh, it was a good feeling seeing him come back in here. Uh, he's a running back once he gets the ball in his hands. Uh, that way since 2010, uh, whether it's a tear screen outside, whether it's an under route or over route, catching the ball in the middle of the field, uh, great vision, um, good balance, breaks tackles, stiff arm. Um, He's like he's really a running back when he gets the ball. I think he has all of those traits. So um, very tough guy in space. And obviously, he's a really good receiver going vertical or going uh, anywhere on the field. So tough guy. Um, and I think the toughest part about all of the receivers is they line up everywhere. You know, it's not uh, even though Golden Tate plays inside a lot. It's not like you can come out and say, you know, Marvin Jones on the left, Galladay on the right, Tate inside. You know, these guys will be anywhere throughout the game. So. Um, that makes it tougher to kind of know where they're at and cover them as well. Um, that's a lot of I don't know. So I don't. Uh, he's only been here for uh, I think two days now, so I wouldn't say uh, I can formulate an opinion on him. But he, we all know he's a good player. Excited uh, to have him here, and uh, he seems excited to get to work. So uh, we'll see how it all shakes out. Yeah, but it wasn't surprising. If you watch the first game, it was it was tied up, you know, in the third quarter. It was a seven-point game, I think, all the way down to, like, eight or seven minutes in the third quarter. It was – I mean, really, when you watch that game, it's like four bad plays that turn the game around. So, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't think, like, hey, this is some team that's not going to win a game this year. So, um, obviously, we know who their head coach is. We know each week they're going to go out there and play hard, play to the, the end of the game. Um, so that didn't really surprise me. They're a good football team. They have really talented veteran players. Um, so I know we'll get their best shot, you know, at home Sunday night football. Um, it'll be a, a tough environment to go play in. I feel like here in New England, unless you play offense, there's always adversity. Uh, we're never good on defense. So I, I always take that as you go out there, you get better, you go play. Um, I mean, we won Super Bowls and still haven't been good on defense. So uh, I always think it is what it is. Uh, I think here the coaches and Bill's mentality are making it as much as the same as when we're home, whether that's eating at the same time, um, how we do our meetings. I think doing that kind of, obviously it's different, but it kind of gives you a feeling of, all right, even though we're on the road, we know the routine, we know exactly what we're going to do. Um, and I think that allows you to just focus and go play football. So um, I think that helps us. Um, but. I think for the most part, you have to go do it. You know, right now we're not a good road team. We're only one on the road. So um, I don't think we can speak about, you know, what's been done in the past. We have to go try to become a good road team. I think you said it all. You know, he, he's mobile to move around in the pocket, move out of the pocket, usually not looking to move out the pocket and then run, looking to try to get one of those crazy angles for him to deliver the ball, uh, usually 40 to 50 yards downfield. Um, you know, I think the, the crazy thing watching my film is some of the, the holes he gets the ball in, you know, whether he looks a safety off that's in, in robber coverage and right by an end cut. But, you know, he looks him off. You take a half a step the wrong way, he fires the ball in the other way. So uh, very talented, and, and I think his arm strength is, is unbelievable. Um, but he's also not a guy that's just going to sit in the middle of the pocket at, let's say, eight yards deep and just stand there for the whole game. Like, he's mobile enough to move around and hurt you. So. Um, tough task to play against, and I think that's why he's one of the top quarterbacks.